Hey superstars, it's your best friend Scott and it is time for a commission video. This is actually the first one since I finished up the Grail Quest series. So this is kind of uncharted water for me. I don't have a set format to stick to. You know, no silly phones, no dumb jokes, just a fun little drawing from my bestie Dylan from Double D Vintage Baseball Cards. And uh, Dylan liked the Ted Williams piece that I did for Four Leaf a while ago and Ted's his favorite player, so his instructions were to do a marker doodle sort of based on the 1960 Fleer Ted Williams set and go nuts. So in case you don't know, Dylan lives in Hawaii and he is an avid surfer and he loves anything to do with the ocean. So I thought it was fitting to make up a story about how Ted was fishing in the Pacific and he ran out of bait, so he decided to give surfing a try. The Fleer Ted Williams set is an 80 card set that chronicles Ted's life and career so after I finish up the art, I'll mock up what this would look like as card number 81. After I finished up the Grail quest, my intention was to do a piece for myself, but knowing that Dylan was going to be at the National, and I was going to be at the National, I decided to put my piece on hold for just a little while longer and get this one done so that I could surprise him in person. So, the first night we were there, Dylan and I were having dinner with a bunch of other superstars, and not knowing I had this ready for him, he says, Hey Scott, I got another idea and I think you should add me in the doodle as sort of a combo card thing, because, you know, Dylan loves his combo cards, but I kept my cool and I told him that it was kind of a silly idea, and then he asked if I had started this yet, and I said, maybe. And then he asked if I had finished it yet, and I said, maybe. And then he asked if I had it with me, and I said, maybe. To which Dylan got super excited and pumped and stoked and all those things that Dylan gets, you know. I, I think I'll quit yapping for a couple minutes and let you all enjoy some of this free surf rock music that I found in the YouTube Music Library. It's always fun to do these sort of mashup projects that don't make a ton of sense. I mean, it makes sense to me and it makes sense to Dylan, which is all that really matters. Maybe I've made it more universally appealing or intriguing than I think I have, but maybe not. I don't know. What really matters is that I'm amused, or I guess it matters that Dylan's amused. You know, um, I thought it was a good moment to start talking again, but apparently I had nothing important to say. So we'll just go back to the music for a little bit. And there's Rad Surfer Ted. I wonder if the real Ted would have liked surfing or used words like rad and stoked and bra. And here's the card I made up. I even did a little write up on the back. In the off season, Ted was on a fishing trip in the Pacific when he ran out of bait. He decided to head over to Hawaii and give surfing a try. Let me tell you, it was a heck of a lot of fun. Those surfers are quite impressive athletes being able to ride waves as big as the green monster. His experience gave him a new meaning to being on deck. So I guess all that's left is to present it to Dylan. Uh, we did have to fight against the noise a little bit, but here's the big reveal. I'm here with my best friend Dylan. We're in Chicago with the National. It's a good time with 
excited. I'm excited for this moment in particular. I didn't know this moment was going to happen. And then he alluded to it last night. I almost started crying last night. You're changing your idea on me. It was, I'm starting to freak out. Yeah. It was, it, yeah, I was like, I was telling him last night, because I didn't know he was, already had done this project for me, and I was like, nice, I've been thinking about this project. I, I didn't want to change the idea, but I thought, hey, maybe you can add me in this idea as a combo card. Bad idea, horrible idea. And then he's like, I didn't know. So I, I, I didn't know that he did this project for me, and I am like, I'm struggling. Um, I man, I'm struggling right now to hold myself together because I know this moment's really special for me because not only do I love Scott, I his, his artwork's absolutely ridiculously outstanding. My wife's an artist, and for me, art is a really special and unique personal thing, and, and I'm not going to let Scott see anything. And to have something like this, I've been on the waiting list for like two years. This is my grail card, whatever he has for me. It's more special than anything I'm going to buy at the National, anything I'm going to buy in my lifetime in sports cards. Um, so I'm really excited to see it, but I'm also really scared that I'm going to cry again on the camera. So Scott... Scott, my wife's gonna be watching this and crying. <laughs> Hold on. Is this a? Is this a? Is this a? What is this? This isn't one of his cards. No. So you guys know what this is this right here. Yeah, they've seen it. We've seen it. But this will be the end of it. So those are all the same. I wanted I wanted Scott to do something based off of the clear set of Ted Williams. Because Ted Williams is my favorite player of all time and the, the guy that I've always had in my room as a kid growing up. Black and white photos. Ted Williams all over my head. Ted, Ted Creamy Root Beer sign on my wall. And everything about Ted Williams to me is, is a special thing for me because it, I, he's not a real human. He's like a, he's like a, he's like a god in the my world of sports cards always and I asked them to make me uh, something from the 60 clear set that had to do with like a Ted Williams and this is absolutely beyond anything that I would have ever dreamed of having Scott thank you from the bottom of my heart I, I can't believe I 
Man, I just love doing these reveals in person. I think Dylan's a rock star, and Dylan thinks I'm a rock star for some reason, so it was a blast getting to hang out with him. He's absolutely everything you see in his videos, and he does not disappoint. And he's been very, very encouraging and uh, supportive of me, so this one was extra special. Thanks for being awesome, Dylan. Big, big thanks to Nate from Tops 85401 for being our cameraman, YouTube royalty right there. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Now it's time for me to do a piece for myself, you know, because I'm a selfish jerk. But in the meantime, remember to love your hobby and make it unique to you. We'll see you on the next one. <sighs> Gosh, man, how many times do I have to cry on YouTube? It sucks. You know what sucks? Uh, I think we're done. It sucks that I cry all the time on YouTube because it just means a lot.